Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Viking Size Gamer, and today I want to speak to you about something that has been coming up a lot recently on Twitter, and there's a lot of speculation about it, and it is regarding WWE 2K19 at E3. Let's face it, guys, there has been a lot of things going around, a lot of rumors, a lot of... Well, I suppose misinformation you could call it regarding WWE 2K19 and whether it's going to be at E3 this year or not. So I thought that maybe we could delve into about it and talk about it a little bit here. There has been rumour of them being there but I can confirm to you right now 2K doesn't actually have a formal presence at E3. This much we all know. This isn't something that is new to us. 2K wasn't there last year. They had a very limited presence the year before and the year before that. It wasn't a huge thing, but last year they didn't have anybody there at all. It wasn't on their priorities list. They had other things to do. And the thing is, is that last year, of course, they had Samoa Joe and Xavier Woods there, but they weren't there promoting WWE 2K18. They had all of about 10 seconds. In fact, all I think Samoa Joe said last year was that it was supposed to be very good. That's That was it. So you can't say anything about them being at E3 this year for hyping up WWE 2K19. That's not what they're there for. Basically, those guys were there as representatives of the WWE. That's what they were there for. It wasn't anything to do with 2K and hyping up the WWE games. It was nothing to do with that. They were there as gamers and representing their brand, the WWE. Now, the rumor is for this year is that Kofi Kingston, Big E and Xavier Woods will be going to E3. But once again, it won't be to basically go out there and promote WWE 2K19. This will more than likely be as a WWE presence and also because as we all know Xavier Woods is a massive massive gamer and he has his own channel on YouTube up up down down if you haven't done so go and subscribe it's always good content but also don't forget to subscribe to me because you know you're here do it. But the thing is, is that these guys are obviously going to go out there, they're going to cover E3 because there's going to be a lot of big games coming about, there's going to be a lot of things that they're going to want to see or want to play or want to get involved with. And usually around this time there is some sort of Street Fighter tournament that of course Xavier loves to get involved with, along with Kenny Omega. So it's always good to see those two battling it out because they are massive, massive Street Fighter fans and it's just when these two fight it's really good is really good. Maybe one day we'll get to see him actually compete in a ring. I would be entertained by that. But for the moment, 2K will not have a presence at E3. That is not on the books. Their parent company, Take Two, they will have some sort of presence there, more than likely because they'll be hyping up Red Dead. It'll only be small, but the fact is, is that they will be there. But 2K, they, they won't. It's not something that they're doing. And it's not something that they're not going to be revealing anything there. They're not going to be doing anything hyped up for WWE 2K19. That's going to come later. It's going to come later and it's just, you just, you've just got to let it go. E3 is not going to have anything for WWE 2K19. Now, if this is disappointing for you, I can understand because you're all incredibly impatient, just the same as me. I want to get in there. I want to know what's going on. I want to find out. But you guys and me are just going to have to wait for when this drops. And trust me, it will be soon. If you look at the marketing plan that they had over the last year, it will more than likely follow the same sort of things. It will more than likely follow the same kind of marketing plan. It will more than likely have the same sort of schedule. I really, if you think about it this way, it would likely be that because they've been finding their rhythm for the last few years and it seems more and more likely that this is how it's going to be for them so i don't want to sit here and tell you an untruth but i'm going to tell you what is most likely going to happen at e3 this year nothing wwe 2k19 related other than that <laughs> 
I don't want to ruin... I, I feel like I've ruined this for you. But also, I haven't at the same time. I'm just giving you a truth. Nothing is going to be happening there. So if you see any accounts out there that are saying, Hey, they're going to be revealing stuff at E3. Hey, there's going to be all this amazing things that are going to be announced. They're going to be announcing the cover star at E3. They're going to be announcing this at E3. They're going to be announcing that at E3. Don't believe it. It's just not true. And... As much as you want to sit there and go, well, how do you know? It's like, well, I don't 100% know, but I'm going off what they'd done last year, and there was nothing. And to be fair, they have a big enough fan base in WWE fans that they don't need to go to E3 to announce stuff there, because unfortunately, WWE fans, they generally, you know, won't do things like E3, they'll go to the wrestling, they'll have their jobs. You know, the demographic for wrestling is 18 to 35. That's generally the biggest demographic. And to be honest with you, uh, as much as I would love to go to E3, I would love to go to E3. I got a job. I got a family. I got the stuff that I got to take care of, so I can't get there. That's more than likely why it's not going to be at that time. They're going to be doing other stuff. But the good news is, is that all of these things is going to be taken care of at a later date. They're going to be bringing this out. They're going to do the cover of you later. They're not going to be worried about bringing a cover star out at E3 with everything else that's going on there. They don't want the announcement to be overshadowed by the fact that they're going to have The Last of Us there and all the other massive games that are going to be unveiled at E3. They don't need that. They're going to be coming up with their own stuff and they're going to have something really exciting for us. I'm telling you this, this year... And as much as you think that maybe I'm being a hype monster for this, I don't care. I am a hype beast. And 2K, they're going to give us something good this year. That's what I honestly believe. And hopefully, I am right. But I'm pretty damn certain. Like, 99.999999 recurring for millennia percent sure that nothing is going to be at E3. And I apologise if I now have upset you, but this is just how it is. And you're going to have to get over it. More than likely, nothing is going to be at E3. If anybody says that massive stuff is going to be revealed at E3, it's not. Just, just chill. It's coming. It's coming this month. It's always this month. It's always good, but it's n not really at E3. It, it's in fact, it, it, the E3 is just like whatever to them. They got better things to do. They've got Red Dead at E3. The parent company takes precedent. They've already revealed. NBA, and historically, NBA gets announced roughly two weeks before WWE. That's just a fact. That's just how they do their marketing. NBA comes out two weeks before WWE does. That's just how it is. So, two weeks from when NBA was announced, roughly expect WWE 2K19, something to drop for them. That is what I am expecting. So I hope you guys will be listening to me. Don't, don't even think. I don't want you to build your hopes up for a reveal at E3 and sit there and go, oh man, they didn't do anything at E3. What are they doing? Why wouldn't they do anything at E3? I'm telling you now, nothing is going to happen at E3. No, no, just It's just not on the cards. It's just not likely. It's not like hey, they've done anything at E3. Really, last year they didn't at all. And the layer before that, it was it was nothing really. E3 just isn't for them. They they don't it's it's not a big deal for them. Well it is a big deal for them, it's a big deal for the industry, but for 2K, they've got other ways of announcing their stuff with their sports franchises. So I am super excited for when they do announce it, but I'm pretty sure that it's not gonna happen at E3. Let's just Let's just all calm down a little bit, but stay hyped. And be patient. It is coming. Once again, when the news does come out, and I will be there for it, you can trust me, I will be there when things start rolling. You best be liking and subscribing to this video, and you best be getting on here and on board with the channel because we're going to be covering everything WWE 2K19 as soon as it starts coming out. So I can't wait to see what's happening next. You 
have been absolutely fantastic and let's just keep this going. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. I will catch you soon.